Hello. In this video, we are going to talk about what are themes in WordPress. Now, before we can proceed discussing about themes in WordPress, let's try to understand when we have a web page or website built with some HTML. As you understand, the basically our content that is being displayed is displayed via HTML and CSS primarily over here. So whenever we visit any website or if you have ever created a website using plain HTML, you might be knowing that you have to design certain areas on your web page where certain specific type of content comes up. For example, if we look at our WordPress installation right now, this area is called as a header area. Fine. Then this area where you see the actual content coming up is called as your content area and generally down below is a footer area. Fine. Now, in HTML coding, you generally use header, footer tags and other tags to define these areas and then we put our content inside that. Now, apart from that, using CSS, you define different things like how and what kind of text is to be used for displaying the headings, main text should be displayed in which manner and so on. What should be the background color of this? What should be the header color, footer color? and so on so let's let's have a look at some templates so this is a website html templates.net where the person is providing you some templates so just for an example we will look at a template so this person over here has designed a template where this is the header area which is using some kind of image and then there is a left sidebar where you can have some navigation menu you can have some block displaying something and this is your main content area. There is a footer area where copyright notice is there and main navigation menu is over here. Fine. Now, if you look at the color combination has been chosen, some dark background is there. Text color is accordingly set and so on. So this is one of the examples which has a sidebar over here. This is another example where some other color combinations are used. It has header, footer, sidebar, certain designs or templates what we call as will have the right sidebar or left sidebar or both or there can be many other variations as per your requirement. Now when we talk about WordPress, WordPress is not just about plain HTML, it brings content and displays it to the user. Now to change the look and feel of your WordPress, what you can do is you can design and develop your themes but for that you need to have some PHP HTML, CSS, JavaScript kind of programming knowledge. But if you don't know that, then you don't have to worry about it. You can still change the look and feel of your site by directly updating or changing the theme. So what exactly is a theme? Theme is not just a template. It is a more complex thing than just the template because it is a part of your content management system which displays you the information. A theme may include a section for the front page where your standard block entries are being displayed. When I click on a particular post, how that post is to be displayed. So there will be another template for that. There will be a template for this. Fine. There will be some other different templates based on your theme. So theme is basically going to define different templates for my WordPress as well as the text color, size, fonts, background, so on, uh, header, footer area, left, right side area, and so many other things. So how do we change or update our theme? So log in into your WordPress dashboard, go to the appearance section. And in the appearance section, you will find that there are some pre-existing themes. Fine. So you could activate any of these themes and the look and feel of your website will change. If you are not satisfied with any of these themes, you could add some new themes. So where do you find the new themes? You can try clicking on this. And a list of themes will come up from the WordPress website. Fine. These are the list of themes that are there available freely for you. So you could select any of these themes and install it for your purpose. 
fine so let us try selecting one of the themes and see how it is going to change the look and feel of our website okay okay so here what we can do is preview this and get an idea how the text contents and images will show up so this is how the image will show up when you put an image this is how the headings will show up this is how the paragraph if you create a hyperlink how it will show up definition list and all so basically anything and everything that you could add as a content and the HTML format how it will come up is going to be shown in this particular manner so if you want you will have to install this theme so let's try installing this theme by clicking on install okay so now here the theme is installed fine I can now activate this particular theme so I'm just going to go back to the themes because right now it is showing so many of them now you can see these are the themes that are installed and we are going to activate this particular theme now so here it says the theme is activated and now let's go back to our site and we will reload this and see what happens so this is how our sites look and feel has changed now, as I had mentioned it may not look exactly like the theme that you are expecting certain changes will be needed uh, and the customization when done then the output will look like similarly we already have few of the themes so if we just try activating that theme we'll be able to again change to that particular theme so now this particular theme is activated and let's reload our so now you can see this theme provides the header image by default and this is how your site now looks like now for some reason if you are unable to install theme by the direct manner you could go to the wordpress website and in download and extend section you can go for the themes okay over here you have hundreds of themes available what we simply need to do is select any of the themes which we would want to use fine let us say we will download this particular theme okay once the theme is downloaded you simply need to copy it into your wordpress theme directory so let me open this go to downloads and this is our theme that has been downloaded Astra over here we will copy this and now we can go to where www over here this is where my wordpress is installed and in wordpress you will see you have WP content inside content there is themes and this is where your theme should be placed so we will paste our theme over here okay so in my case I will have to operate as admin because of the permissions so I just pause the video and copy it over here okay so I have copied the theme over here and now I'll simply extracted here so you can see the theme is extracted over here now if we go back to our wordpress section and in the themes of wordpress if i reload this i should get to see another theme that we had downloaded so you can see your idea matters this theme is now available over here and we could activate that particular theme also So now this is activated if we go back to our WordPress site and have a look at it now that theme is active and this is how that particular theme looks like. So in this video we have tried to understand what is a theme and how to install or manage existing themes. In some other video we are going to see further details how to manage different sections of a particular theme.